Welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, whoop, 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 boy. This time it's Manchester United 3, Sheffield United 0. Yes, guys, that's correct. Manchester United 3, Sheffield 0. A three points in the back today. A good performance from all the team. Overall, overall a well-rounded performance from everyone today. Congratulations to Marshall as he just bagged in a hat-trick, his first hat-trick since, uh, who was it? Was it Robin Van Persie? Our first hat-trick since Robin Van Persie, since Sir Alex Ferguson retired, which is just roughly about six years ago. Once again, congratulations to our boy, Anthony Marshall. And let's get straight to the match. Let's get straight to the match. We started off the first 20 minutes in, in good form, looking good, doing well, passing, Dominating, creating a few chances. We we'll have to say, um, Rashford as well missed up so many good opportunities to score. So many good opportunities to score. As always, thing one thing I have to say about much uh, Marcus Rashford, he always has them rash moments. He really lives up to his name. He really lives up to his name, Marcus Rashford. Always acting rash. But yes, we finally broke the deadlock with Anthony Martial scoring the first goal with. Marcus Rashford assisting, wonderful, wonderful play, breaking through Sheffield United defence and just smashing a low pass straight to Anthony Marshall to tap that in. And, and to see him score a goal like that is good because he doesn't often score tap-ins. And for one thing we need at Manchester United, it's players who can score tap-ins, you know. We need to, and that only comes with a system, with a system that allows you to score some very good tap-ins. Just like the way Manchester City score tap-ins. I would like to see Manchester United score some more tap -ins. And in this game, he they did, they did. Anthony Marshall again with us with the second goal with a brilliant, brilliant build-up play coming from Pog Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez slipping in the ball straight into Wambasaka. Wambasaka drilling a low cross straight again for Marshall to tap it in. The game ended up 2-0 half time. Then we move straight into the second half. Where, boy, wonderful piece of play. Absolutely tantalizing, scrumptious, mwah, 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 magnifique. Ça finish de Marshall. Hey, Marshall, hey, tu es trop. Tu es trop, mon frère. Tu es trop. Hey! Anyway, guys, if you didn't know, I do speak French, yes. <laughs> but yeah, back to that goal. Brilliant build up play. Oh, the lovely flip by Bruno Fernandez. It, I have to say, guys, I enjoyed watching Bruno Fernandes. Guys, let me know if you thought or, or if you enjoyed watching Bruno Fernandes. It's a joy, it's a pleasure to witness such a brilliant player. The level of creativity, the imagination, oh, magnificent, guys. It's just brilliant. It's beautiful. It's been so long since I've seen a midfielder that do that. And just lifting up the pressure off of Paul Pogba. Brilliant play, brilliant pass from Paul Pogba. I mean, sorry, not Paul Pogba. Brilliant flick on from Bruno Fernandes. Straight on to Martial. Martial passes it to Rashford. Rashford gives it back to Martial. Martial with a lovely chip over the goalkeeper. Fantastic finish. Beautiful play. But again, we would like to see more of that because we hardly see that type of play. And it's, it is good to see all of our players back. It's good to see them back and see what they can do. Because now I have my eye on Oli and seeing what he does in training. Letting it reflect on the pitch. Although we had a good, we we got the three points and we won three 0 there were moments where I thought we could have just done more, where we could have created and be more, let's say, um, ruthless. Especially Mark Rashford, he could have been ruthless today. We could have won by four to five goals because at the end of the day we were playing against Sheffield United, a game where I thought we could have comfortably, we should have comfortably won. We should have won by four goals at least minimum. But three 0 I will take that. That is a trash it, you know. It's a 3 0 whitewash. Sheffield United, you just go home and wash your uniform. Or should I say your jersey? And let's move us straight up to the man of the match today. There's no second guess at this. You know who it is. You know who it is. You know it's Anthony Martial. My guy, my don, mon frère, mon frère. On our son, on our son. In other words, we are together. Got you, bro. That hat trick was sweet. The reason why he was man of the match, of course, you know, he scored a hat trick. Beautiful hat trick. First hat trick in, in six years. How can you not give him man of the match? Beautiful, beautiful third goal. 
was heavily involved. He looked confident and he was smiling. And you know, you knew. everybody knows Marshall Hardy smiles. But ever since Mourinho left, he's been smiling. Mm. And the donkey of the match today. And let's be honest, guys, there is no real donkey of the match as, as everyone else played well. But there was one player in particular who I thought could have done more, who I thought could have got more involved, especially on the attacking side. Although he did some, although he did good in def in defensive and outplay and displays, I have to give it to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, sadly today, you are my donkey of the match. Of course, you are the player that was least effective. And let's go straight into the to the player ratings. We start off in goal with David De Gea. David De Gea had a good game today. Today, I saw a few good, good moments where he was drilling passes from the box, from his box. And it's good to see that because people think that David De Gea can't pass with his feet or distribute from the box, which he can. He, he started doing that when he first came to Manchester United. What I noticed that, oh, he can really, really rifle them long, them long, 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 long goalkeeper kits straight to a player. He was really good at that. And now it's nice to see that he can pass it short and not make any mistakes. So today I would give him a seven. Mm -hmm. I thought he was good. Well, Aaron Van Bissaka, Forever Green, Forever Green, Spider Man, you're going to get a straight set solid seven. You was very good. He was good today. Especially he got an assist today to assist in Marshall's second goal. We moved up straight to Lindelof, which, which I thought had a good game as well. I would also give him a seven. But alongside Harry Maguire, a seven today. With Luke Shaw, a six. In midfield, it's a good midfield. And people, you need to realize that today, the undercover hero, the unsung hero, Manny Matic, he did so well today. Today, I would give him a good eight, a very good eight. You know, you guys, as you know, he was shielding, he was keeping things calm. And I love that. He kept everyone calm in the midfield, doing his things, giving us balance as well, allowing Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes to flourish and thrive. And with Paul Pogba today, Paul Pogba came back, was involved, very good moments, a couple of good opportunities to actually get forward and get a goal. But apart from that, he was doing his thing with, with, with Bruno lifting up the pressure. And, and, and it's nice to see a Paul Pogba, a Paul Pogba that plays for France, where he's surrounded by world-class players, players of high high quality, and he's able to do his thing. And someone else that's taking the limelight, and you know he needs someone else to take that limelight. He, Like I said before, he deserves a seven. And then we have Bruno Fernandes. I have to wipe my nose because, boy, boy. Bruno Fernandes was extremely instrumental today. Everything that we did was because of him. Everything well, everything good that we did was because of him. Bruno, today, give him an eight. I give him an eight. Marcus Rashford, seven. Because you know what? You could have scored a few goals, Marcus. But no, you didn't want to. No, you just wanted to scruff it and that's rash like your name. But yes, you're going to get a seven today. Hopefully next match you're a bit sharp. Anthony Marshall, the man of the match, the man of the moment, man of the hour. Good night today. Ah, uh, although he got a hat trick, I could have given him easily give him a ten. Could, but you know me, I don't, I'm not too generous. I'm gonna give him a nine today, and our manager a seven. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a seven. Anyway, guys, it was lovely to lovely, lovely, lovely that we're back. I'm happy that we're doing this show again, guys. If you thought that, um. If you thought that um, Marshall was your man in the match, let me know. If you think that Luke Shaw was your dog in the match, let me know. You told me who your dog in the match. Now remember, guys, do remember to subscribe and smash that like button right there. You get me? If you're new to this channel. And remember to follow the socials, which is for the Instagram, the official Instagram account, which has changed again, which is Red United TV 1, baby. Red United TV 1. And also remember to follow me on my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice. And also for the Twitter, it's the same. And also for the Snapchat. Guys, we move. We got number three points. We can enjoy tonight. Enjoy our day. Tomorrow we, we resume. We move on. We wait for the next game. Hopefully we bag the three points. Catch me next time, guys. Peace out.